<laughs> I've been trying for over a year to get these models finished, and after a lot of hardships and broken friendships, I managed to get most of the rigging fixed by someone else. However, I need some work on them. Still, here's the list. 1. There's a minor issue with a few polys on my female rotor model spiking when the right arm is lifted. I need those smoothed out. 2. I have a third outfit for the rotor models and a belt buckle for them I need to be body grouped. 3. I need flexes added to Cobar's models that stretches her ass and mouth wide, and I need their vagina flexes and rotors ass and vagina flexes modified to stretch wide, as well. Not wide enough to break the mesh, but wide enough that they can take cocks up them without needing to shrink the cock model. 4. I would also like this recolored skin for the rotor models put on them as an extra texture. Here's the files for them. If you need more files, like for the original textures for them, let me know. I don't have much money, but I'll try to pay what I can for the effort. Thanks. Oh my god. This is a Christian forum. After good Goling rotor and Kobar. Can I ask why a gender swap rotor? A few reasons. I was inspired by some rule 63 pics I saw of the character to make him like that. I was trying to get a commission of the pair together, but the artist refused to do it unless they were feudalized slash gender swap and my own attempt to make a male version of them didn't turn out well. Good money went into these models. Bash me if you want, but these were excellent 3D work from an awesome 3D modeler, and I think they deserve to be finished. It's no different than you guys asking for nude edits of that chick from Lollipop Chainsaw or whatnot. Just that the content is of a different fandom. Get over yourselves and be mature about it, or leave the thread. Simple as that. Op, I'm curious to ask since you mentioned you bought these models from a modeler, how much did you pay for these? Because combined with the guy totally not taking your money, shoving his half-assed TD walruses into your face, then also totally not running the other direction, and losing actually friends over this, I'm very certain you just blew up a good chunk of your personal life because of one thing. Your obsession with Archie comic Sonic character food to walruses. In fact I have a feeling that this notion is why you're so defensive, you simply don't want to admit you just lost it quite a bit because of your passion for walrus penis. The initial models, of which there were four sets, were paid for at $100 a piece, plus expenses like extra outfits and whatnot. They weren't rigged or flexed, and they were very well made. Most of the people I showed them to agree that they were very good, and the artist did a fine job on them, 